Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and if you're new here, which like half of you are, then you're here on recommendation from Kay at The Organized Soprano, and I am gonna pop in some footage. I'm currently editing this week's video, which to give you a little backstory, you're hopping in if you're new on a four week collab with Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. Check her out, she's in the description box below. And we are doing a clean and daily declutter once a week, this is my fourth installment. I've been doing a tour of a big gallery wall project, completely dusting it, and then I've been taking apart my fridge, freezer, and pantry. So today you're hitting me on a big Disney gallery wall tour and quick little cleaning montage, and then a big, very satisfying freezer, organize and reveal. So, so just to catch you up kind of on where you're catching me, but also I went ahead and decided to pop in the footage of me finding out that Kay even knows who I am. And it is a little embarrassing and a little crazy, and I'm almost tempted, you'll already know if I use a screenshot for the thumbnail because it was just so hilarious and mind-blowing. And as I messaged her pretty quickly on her channel, like it was Inception, it was vlog -ception. Imagine watching the channel of someone you've watched for so much inspiration and then seeing your face pop up on the screen, listed as one of her favorite home-centric channels on YouTube. Craziness. Tiny, tiny, tiny little channel. 400 subscribers. Although I'm like an old lady. I'm not in it for the subscribers. I'm just here to share the inspo that I get back because I realized I have some to share. So stick around if you want to be a part of that inspo. I upload on Mondays regularly this week. I think I'm coming at you on a Tuesday. Michelle had a little hiccup at home and this is a collab. So before we get into this week's clean and daily declutter, I'm going to put in that footage of me, a snotty sobbing mess, finding out that Kay knows who I am. Thank you, Kay. <laughs> no, I'm crying. This is so stupid. It's not stupid. It's amazing. It's stupid that I'm crying and being ridiculous. This was, this was Inception, literally Inception, watching your channel and then my face popping up on the screen. <laughs> okay, bonkers. Thanks, you're the best. You're the best. Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and today we are going to start where we left off last week, actually the last several weeks, as I have been doing a collab with Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. We have been doing fall clean and daily declutter, and my clean has been once a week dusting one of my large gallery walls or two of my small gallery walls or photo displays, and then my declutter has all been food related. So we're gonna continue that pattern today. We're going to do a tour of my Disney gallery wall, which runs the entry and down the hallway. And then I'm going to give that a good dust. And then I'm going to clean out and reorganize my freezer. I've ordered a couple things off of Amazon. I think that that is going to really make a difference. We, of course, we're starting with doodle footage. Hello, Lou, baby. He likes to keep me company while I do my projects. And I will say, we start off, oh, that's UPS. My package came. We'll start off with photos right at my entry to start my Disney gallery wall of my daughters on one of their early trips, not their first trip to Disneyland, but one of their early trips. I believe Claire is three and Madeline is five. And then that is them on their last trip together before Madeline was married. They're both teenagers there. So I kind of recreated the same photo and thought that was special and hung those together. I have quite a few black and whites just of the park that I took uh, with an old 35 millimeter camera on actual film. Can you believe it? Um, including the Mad Hatter hat shop and these two pictures here at the top of my daughters waiting on the same trip for Dumbo. 
Just a sweet candid moment of them waiting in line for Madeline's favorite ride. I have this quote up here that was done by a friend that I just love. My Disneyland sign is out of the park. If you go to the parks very often, you know that they sell a variety of those. I also have the Main Street sign I'll show you in the hallway. And I guess I'll tell you about the sign. So each letter in each sign symbolizes something out of that land. They have one for each land. This one is the Disneyland one. So something out of each letter represents a land. And then one of my daughter's Mickey ears from one of their early trips when they were young, a print of a nice painting that we love from the park of the Mark Twain, which is my favorite ride. And then here are some tickets that my husband purchased for me for a holiday one year, some special memorabilia. I do not know if I remember the year on those. I would have to look at my paperwork, but those are tickets to ride the Mark Twain steamboat and tickets to ride the railroad, which is not a thing anymore. Um, you had to purchase those separately from your e-tickets or your A through E ticket packs. And so that was a really special find. And then that is a Main Street USA pin from, I believe, 1990. They handed you a pin from each land as you walked in. Here are my girls, little cameo silhouettes we had done. Here's a puzzle we bought in the park and put together when my girls were young. A couple more photos of my favorite places in the park. And then here's a picture of all of our tennis shoes uh, surrounding a um, our family brick so we did purchase a brick boy I don't know what year that is man how old would they have been it was a long time ago now in fact our lease is sort of up we purchased that brick we owned the plot I believe for 10 years and then they reserve the right to remove it ours is in a place I don't think it will be removed but some of them have been removed during remodel but our brick is still there we visit it every year and we have a replica. They send you a replica. My girl's driving the Mark Twain, which as I said is my favorite ride. Over here on this side, we have a light from the Main Street Electric Parade, which I love. One of my favorite pieces. Um, a couple of special annual pass holder coins from different trips that you could purchase. Now this is a special treat my husband bought me. It is a share of Disney and he had that framed and then he had it inscribed with your first stop to the happiest plane on, place on earth. Now you can call our vacations business trips. So we joke when we're there, we'll see gum and be like, oh, man, we're, we're a shareholder now. People are vandalizing our park, but we own one share not to get ahead of ourselves. Here is a picture of our brick. My girl's trying to pull the sword from the stone. Some passes from the park, the original passes that you used to buy. There was a $1 admission and then you bought your tickets for rides. And then that is the opening day press packet that they sent out to the press. So that is behind glass there. That is my silhouette from childhood. And then this is a beautiful piece done by a very special friend who does beautiful work of all of my favorite things in the park. So she made me this stunning subway art of all of my family's favorite places in the park. We're going to come around the corner and this isn't technically a part of the Disney gallery wall, but there are some Disney pictures in each, of course, and I made these for my girls' graduations. I made faux Polaroids out of snapshots of their life. And the top one is Miss Claire. And the bottom one is Miss Madeline. Both married now. Madeline, two kids later. But I still enjoy those. And I knew when I did them, I wanted to frame them and put them up. Now this is where we keep our vintage attraction posters. They're repros. They sell them in the park. We bought one a trip for a long time we had to eventually stop. I mean, you can only fit so many. And another one of these um, Disneyland signs that they have for each land. Main Street and the Railroad is one of my very favorites. So we have those. I believe they're a little spendy. I believe the signs are about $200. And then my very favorite piece of memorabilia. Let's see if we can get in close. 
These are pieces of the Haunted Mansion wallpaper from the 1985 remodel. So they had a renovation, they replaced the wallpaper, and that is a piece of the wallpaper from the stretching room. We've got a beautiful certificate of authenticity and receipt and paperwork to go with them. And then this is the wallpaper I really wanted, believe it or not, it is the vestibule when you walk in. And then I just have the blueprints to the Haunted Mansion, again, a repro. And then these are more of our vintage attraction posters. So we have Pirates and Haunted over here, which are old standbys. Everybody loves them, but absolutely my two favorites. I am not Team Pirates or Team Haunted, and you can't make me pick. There are so many people that really insist you're one or the other, and I refuse. Love them both equally. They're my very favorites. They're just very different. You can't even compare. People Mover, another one of our very favorites, of course, no longer in the park. They still have one in Disney World, the sailing ship Columbia. I know who rides the Columbia, but we do, and we love it. And the Matterhorn, probably my husband's favorite. And the Skyway, again, no longer there, but boy, one of our favorite things my whole childhood and then our trips with our daughters. So that will conclude my Disney Gallery Wall tour. And now it's time to dust it all. As I said, once a week I dust all the flat surfaces and then one section of photo display or gallery wall gets done per week. So every week I dust all the flat surfaces and the main living areas and then so once a month each of these displays get a good dusting. You'll see I'm an old lady, I love my feather duster. Don't judge it till you try it. And then I just keep a damp vinegar and water rag in my pocket or a little cleaner on my hip and I get the fingerprints. So that is my chore today, and then we will be tearing apart that freezer. Man, I hope my package is what I'm hoping it is. And we will see you for that momentarily. So familiar view here from the helpful home and today we are oh looks like I need to refill my sprouted pumpkin seeds I use those every day on my salads but this is the state of okay like listen my fridge looks lovely like I'm not horribly unorganized but I have to say the freezer is a real problem child for me it's kind of like the t-shirt drawer of my kitchen if you watched last week's video. I don't know how you KonMari a freezer. Is that a thing? Should I look up how to KonMari a freezer? Huh. Okay, I might be doing that. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna empty it. I will say, I'll tell you the plan so far, which is obviously not working, but frozen fruit for smoothies, breakfast items like frozen gluten-free waffles. This is supposed to be protein, like just fish, chicken, beef. This is supposed to be vegetables, which is like, we do keep a lot of vegetables in here. And then this is supposed to be the tiny little section of um, like a processed, we do eat fairly healthy, gluten-free, dairy-free, organic, but there still is some processed foods for like the weekend or a birthday. See that snuck down here, but this is usually, that should go there. And this is usually gluten-free breads and rolls. 
And then that is almost always frozen avocado because they go bad so quickly from Costco that I end up popping them in there, pulling one out for avocado toast in the morning, and then just ice central. So I'm kind of thinking, first of all, it's never been labeled. I consider labeling it all the time. Um, maybe that's a step in the right direction. But secondly, I'm thinking I need baskets. So I'm going to try to hit the Dollar Tree and pick up some sort of like bin, like a bin. You know, you see people with like a handle, like a pull out bin for breakfast, protein, vegetation. Man, I don't know if a bin would work good there. Um, processed and breads. So we'll see. I'm going to start by emptying and sorting, and then I'll wash it. I'm going to put it back, but I'm hoping to hit the Dollar Tree for bins before this gets uploaded Monday. But we'll start with purging, emptying, and washing. Okay, here we are emptied. I will say I don't remove the kale or the microgreens whenever I wipe out the freezer because they thaw so quickly and then you just have slimy kale or microgreens, especially the greens. Um, when I'm making my smoothie, I don't even pull them out when I pull out the papaya and banana and blueberries. So I'm gonna close those back in there, keep them nice and frozen. I'm about half done wiping down in there and this is what we've got going on on the ground. So separated into breakfast pile, I have some papaya to pop in. A container I gotta to top off the frozen bananas. That is vegetation, which we're a little low on. Tiny bread pile, large meat pile. And then, yeah, it's a little bit good size at this point, but we usually keep a small processed food pile, mainly for hubby on like the weekend, on the Sunday night, football night, we'll throw some gluten-free cod in the oven. He likes a cauliflower crust, gluten-free pizza. I don't think he's ever had the empanadas. They're gluten-free. He eats dairy, so I can't eat most of these things, but that's sort of the, the goodie pile. And then these, I need to, I need to grab these. These are marrow bones, and I need to make my bone broth because I'm gonna make a big pot of beef and cabbage soup. So I'm gonna put these aside, finish wiping out my freezer, and then put these back in. As I said, putting them in just like this is not working. I'm literally going to do that now but I'm going to measure and either order off of Amazon or hit the Dollar Tree, um, hopefully in the next couple of days before this gets chaotic again. So stage one, tidying. I took out a couple things that I tossed. Um, I had a couple freezer burned chicken breasts that looked beyond repair. I think that might've been it. So we're gonna wipe down, we're gonna put it back tidily. Again, it won't stay that way, but um, I'm gonna get my label maker and purchase some containers. And hopefully there's an after by the time this is uploaded Monday. If not, um, there'll at least be a partial after. And then I'll show you the, the after after next week. But hopefully I get to that today or tomorrow. Okay, looks like 15, between 15 and 14. 14 would fit on the glass better. And let's see if I can do this in film. Can I do this in film? I don't know. Okay. Looks like, okay, 11, but probably 10 to be within the glass. And I'm gonna have to be careful about that sensor so I'm gonna have to go with 10 for sure because I want a little bit of height I was hoping for a handle there's like a stick your finger through handle but I haven't found one with a real chunky solid handle but I did find a 14 by 10 real close to 14 by 10 on Amazon I'm gonna order a three pack one two three yeah I kind of don't think I need one for the breakfast section if I have one for the veggie and fruit section I'm gonna go with three for now. All right, first reveal, not final reveal. I did order three bins to pull out to fill with things and I noticed that this third shelf has the light. So it works that I have four shelves and three bins because I won't be able to put one there. Oddly, I find that the little stack of convenience foods we have is pretty much the easiest to sort or organize. They stay, 
you know, fairly stacked. So those may have to live on that shelf and the other things will be in totes on shelves. There will be some sort of breakfast shelf, vegetable shelf, protein shelf, like I said, gluten-free convenience food shelf, and then this is breads and goodies. These last us like a year, but I grab a red plate foods allergen free of the top eight allergens, chocolate cupcakes and moon pies back there for if there's like a birthday or something to go to and my family can't eat there, I just bring four of those with me and then we know we have a goodie and it's really no big deal. I try to pop that on a plate with ice cream and take it to my hubby before somebody offers him the glutinous cake so he doesn't feel uncomfortable and he's already eating something. That's my little gluten-free life hack. Serve the hubby first. Keeps him from being in awkward positions. So, all right, ordered my totes. Hopefully there's a final reveal before this gets uploaded Monday and I'm kind of excited about it. I might pop out that label maker after all and label those bins. Okay, I gotta say this reveal was very satisfying. Oh, but first things first, my clean eating snack tins had to be moved to the fridge side. They have always been on the freezer side, but they had to move to make room for... Oh, that's my labeled freezer bin song. Oh, oh I'm so excited. I actually found bins with a tiny handle. It's not as big as I expected, but also I think it wouldn't have, I think it wouldn't have worked if it was as big as I expected. So it has a little handle. It already had a spot for a label. I broke out the label maker. It's always a good day when you break out the label maker. So I've got my smoothie stuff and the rest of my breakfast ingredients in the top bin. I've got my produce, which is mainly veggies in the second bin. I've got my protein bin. Oh, and I am going to take out my marrow bones because I'm gonna make my bone broth and then I okay so full disclosure I did this original sort and clean and sort of shoved everything back prior to filming my gallery wall tour my Amazon I can get same-day delivery for over $35 of some items and these bins were on that list so I did the original sort and wipe down Went and showered and got around, even got to change my white trash nails. I did my gallery wall tour and they came while I was filming my, filming my gallery wall tour. So same day Amazon organization delivery. Like, do you love technology? Anywho, they only came with three and I am gonna buy another set and I'll just give the other two to my daughters because I, even though the convenience foods would stay there, I just want the symmetry of the four bins. So sue me. That's how my brain works. I did go ahead and label the convenience shelf and then my gluten-free breads and desserts. My ice packs and my avocado, those labels peel right off fairly easily if any of those things change, but they don't change that often to be honest. So we got her done. I feel very good about that pantry reveal. Look at that beauty. Man, that turned out better than I had even hoped. I will say I Snapchatted my married daughters and one of them pretty much laughed at me and said, you and your bins, but the other one, the other one said it looks beautiful. She gets me. Actually, she just said stuff usually fell out of my freezer, so. <laughs> so she was happy about the bins. So that is it for our final freezer reveal. And even though my collab with Michelle for October is technically over, I still am gonna be uploading on Mondays. This one went up on Tuesday because Michelle had a little hiccup at home, but I'm gonna continue with my Monday upload schedule. I've got a big garage. It won't be completely done, but it's gonna be a big chunk next Monday. And it might be the next couple of Mondays because I think it's going to take me a minute, but get ready for some garage organization inspo and I will see you on Monday. Thanks for being here at the Helpful Home.